Hello everybody, this is Amity Cooper. Welcome back to another episode of Clinical Career Collective's Soap Notes. I wanted to introduce myself. I am Amity Cooper. I am the founder and creator of the Clinical Career Collective, a community membership site for mental health professionals at large where you can learn, advance, and become the clinician you dream of being. So this episode and soap note is all about stress. Currently, um, I think everybody is in this state of ever-present stress in various levels and experiences, but it is the silent invader of our lives right now. According to a recent um, Kaiser Family Foundation poll, our stress levels have skyrocketed up to 53%. That's almost 20 additional points since March, which is staggering. And the American Institute of Stress reports that in general, um, Americans are one of the most um, stressed out countries in the world and that it, roughly 73% of us feel that it, stress, daily stress affects our mental health. So the question becomes, you know, we've all sort of heard that, you know, too much stress can really take a toll and have an adverse effect on our overall health. But also some stress can actually be a motivator and um, challenge us to improve ourselves. So we always have to sort of ride between and have this balancing act between what's healthy and what's unhealthy. So obviously, as a public service reminder, if you feel that you are experiencing high levels of stress that are beyond what a normal um, expectation would be in your life, you always should turn you can always turn to your friends, family, community, and if no one is available there, you don't feel safe there, you can seek out professional help. Okay, in our observations section of this soap note today, um, I did some research and I found that the top 11 stressors in the U.S. today, out of all of them, Number one was money, and it's so understandable because it feels that without financial security, so much of our world is out of our control. We don't have access to services or, or even food, um, just basic necessities. So just remembering that, um, that, that stress is real and it is can cause not only psychological but also physical impairment. So it is truly a crisis of today's age and specifically going on and occurring in our COVID world. You know, um, as I was trying to prepare this soap note, I was you know, there's so much more to say about stress, but I feel like in some ways it's it's hacked to death. And um, all I know is that when we're living in uncertain times, it's no surprise that there would be sort of this fallout and that we're walking around sort of in a zombie-like state because we just don't know when this is going to end. We don't know what we're going to come out of this. And everything around us is sort of feeding this um, freeze or flight or fear complex that we're all living in. It's like our amygdalas are on overdrive all the time. So it's really, really difficult and we have to give ourselves a break like this is normal. I heard somebody say recently that it's almost like we're running a marathon but we don't know what mile we're at and we we, we can't gauge where we are, so it's really hard to make plans or to strategize our way out of it. So the best way to sort of deal with these stressors is to take a deep breath and just 
sort of close our eyes and realize that we will get through all of this and find ways that we can move beyond um, what we see every day and be less reactive. So part of the plan that I'd like to sort of suggest to you if you are listening to this to this soap note is instead of being so reactionary to everything that goes on in your life, try to see if you can settle your mind and yourself to become more observant. Um, maintain a, a beginner's mind or an observer's um, unattached mind and watch these things go by because you don't always, you choose when and how you're going to react to an event. One of the things that has been helpful for me is that I have tried my best to develop and be consistent with a routine. And I'm not saying or suggesting that it's elaborate. I mean, something simple as actually the enjoyment of pouring a cup of coffee every morning has been such a lifesaver for me. I, I spend the moment, I take the moment to like breathe in the aromas of the coffee. I, I smile as I pour my creamer. Like those things really bring or elevate um, elevate my moment and and push me through and allow me to kind of enjoy what's happening around me. Um, before I get to the 16 second exercise, I'd like just to suggest um, if you are a tech person, then maybe using um, these suggestions or looking into these alternative methods might be very helpful for you. For one, Touchpoint Solution, um, the founder, Vicki Mayo, and I had an amazing conversation, which you can hear in my upcoming virtual summit in early November. Um, so check out her her biofeedback devices that you can wear that are, were specifically designed to help you de-stress in 30 seconds or less. And then I found this amazing article on a number of, maybe it's like a top 20 list of virtual worlds that you can enter and participate in for free or for a small nominal um, subscription amount to sort of um, de-stress your life if you find yourself experience that experiencing stress on a regular basis. Um, this can allow you to sort of have an escape route. Um, lastly, I found this really interesting when I was continuing and doing research is that there are ongoing clinical studies that are doing their best, like organizations, government organizations, and private funded um, nonprofits that are looking for case participants to, to find new strategic ways that we can learn how stress operates and how we can combat it. So check out that link that I provided here. And then the last thing that I'm just going to mention, and there is a direct link to this exercise, is this 16-second breath exercise provided by a stress expert or de-stress expert. And um, it's really just a 16-second, um, four-second breakdown of an inhale, hold, and exhale with eyes open and eyes closed. And I think it's a great way if you, your body can be your personal attunement mechanism um, throughout the day. And I think we take for granted, we try to look for, so often we try to seek external fixes when really we have this amazing instrument that we can use ourselves. And our breath is a very, very powerful, free and available tool to us at all times. So with that, I'm going to end our Soap Note channel um, episode here, and I hope that you have a great day. Take care and speak soon.